Hello, this is your virtual life coach, Michael Lewis. Now, here's the thing. I can think of at least 10, maybe 20 things that are not your fault. Possibly even more than that if I knew you better, which I don't. You've done and you're doing the best you can for this particular version of yourself. And what's happened is done. You can't do anything about that. What you can do is the stuff that hasn't happened yet. And for what's coming up, you're going to need the best version of yourself. You're going to need to do two things. Number one, learn from your mistakes. That's what mistakes are for. They're to learn from. Otherwise, they're useless. And they just make you feel bad. When this video is done, but not before, I want you to think of one, just one thing that you could have handled better. How you could have handled it better and decide that if that situation comes up again, that's how you're going to handle it. Okay, number two, in order to become the best version of yourself, you'll need to be at least have a little bit of respect for who you are now. Otherwise, you're not going to feel worthy of getting better. So stop beating yourself up over the past. I need you to eat better. I need you to do anything medical that you've got going on. You know, fix anything medical that you've got going on so that you're more comfortable in your skin. I need you to catch up with any correspondence, return any phone calls, answer any emails, and see if you can catch up and hang out some evening or some lunchtime with someone who likes you and who you like. See, sometimes the best way to remind yourself that you are worthy of taking up space on the planet is to spend some time with someone who is already of that opinion. You can even ask them, what's likable about me? What do, you, what do you like? Come on, tell me. What are, what are some reasons to keep me fed and taken care of? Why not? They're your friends. They'll level with you. So how do you become the best version of yourself? Well, I'll tell you a secret. You already are. But you can always improve. And the first step there is to stop beating yourself up and start taking better care of yourself. Second step is to decide you are worthy of improvement. And the third step is to think of something you want. Could be anything. Could be dance lessons, a new car, learn Portuguese, get a promotion at work, anything. And then the fourth step is to actually take some action, any action, toward that thing. Read a brochure about Portugal. Google tap dancing instructors near me. See what cars are available on eBay. Send your boss flowers, whatever. Then once you're done with that, do something else and something else along those lines. And at some point, sooner or later, you're going to realize it's better to treat yourself better and like yourself more than blaming everything on yourself. Hey, you know, there's 8 billion of us here on Earth. So, so quit hogging all the blame to yourself. Let us in on some of it too, okay? And that's all I've got to say for now. So until next time, take your vitamins, love each other, observe posted speed limits, play nice, and never lose sight of who you are. Never, never, never lose sight of who you are. So long for now.